In June 2012, the Scottish Highlands witnessed a dramatic event when Locomotive 66734, a powerful freight engine operated by GB Rail Freight, derailed and slid down an embankment near the remote Loch Trig. This wasn't just any derailment. The locomotive came to rest in one of the most challenging recovery locations imaginable, on a natural ledge halfway down a steep slope perched precariously above the water. With no road access and the weight of the locomotive at 130 tonnes, what followed was a fascinating logistical puzzle that would span more than a year. It all began when torrential rains caused a landslide 250 feet above the track between Karor and Tullock stations. The loose rock and soil tumbled down, right in the path of locomotive 66734, which was hauling aluminium powder from North Blyth to Fort William. As the locomotive hit the landslide, it and five of its wagons left the tracks. The engine, over 70 feet long, was forced down the embankment and came to an abrupt halt on a narrow ledge above Loch Traig. Although the ledge stopped the locomotive from plunging into the loch, it left the engine hanging in a perilous state, secured only by the unstable terrain beneath it. With the engine's position making any traditional recovery virtually impossible, officials quickly realised they had a complex and costly challenge ahead. The narrow, remote stretch of railway meant that heavy lift cranes couldn't be brought close enough to do the job. The nearest road was miles away, and the terrain surrounding Loch Trague is notoriously rugged, with only single track rail access. Even if a crane could be transported there, no rail crane in the area had the capacity to safely lift the locomotive from such an awkward angle. Stabilisation measures were temporarily implemented to keep the locomotive from slipping further, with cables anchoring it to prevent further descent while specialists planned their next steps. Over the following months, engineering experts studied the site, weighing the options. The location was too risky and the environmental impact of attempting a full recovery was deemed unacceptable. Ultimately, it was decided that dismantling the locomotive on site would be the only viable option. This approach meant carefully cutting the engine into sections that could be individually winched back up the steep embankment to the rail line, where they would be loaded onto flatbed rail cars and removed from the site. Crews began the delicate process of breaking down the locomotive piece by piece, each part needing to be safely handled to prevent it from tumbling further down the slope or into the loch. The recovery project stretched over a year, with sections of the locomotive slowly being removed until September 2013, when the last remnants of locomotive 66734 were finally taken away. This monumental effort highlighted the lengths the rail industry will go to ensure safety and environmental protection, even under the most challenging conditions. But the story of locomotive 66734 didn't end there. GB Rail Freight honoured the locomotive's legacy by introducing a replacement engine, also numbered 66734, to continue serving its routes. The new locomotive features commemorative stickers that pay homage to the original engine, keeping its story alive on the rails. This unique incident at Loch Trig remains a memorable chapter in the history of rail recovery operations, blending engineering ingenuity with the untamed beauty of the Scottish Highlands. It stands as a testament to the complexities and resilience involved in modern rail transport, especially when Mother Nature throws in unexpected challenges.